as a community manager, I spend my day typing. Mm -hmm. that, that's pretty much all I do because I'm not some kind of fancy in-person community manager. Um, you know, I'm not running a WeWork or something like that. Um, and, uh, and let's be honest, most of what you type, you've typed to someone else before. And yes, you can cut and paste things and all that, but sometimes you just need to spit out a chunk of text and make two modifications and email it off and move into your life. And so what I've got is a piece of software called Text Expander, and it is life-changing to me. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so it allows me just to put in any kind of arbitrary text, and then I put a quick like shortcut number set of characters in, and kaboom, it spits out whatever I want. And so, some of them are really simple, like oh, I have a ridiculous last name, um, so if I just want to type my name, I just go E E L I, and it spits out the whole name. Because who wants to type that whole ugly name? Or what if I just want my, my email address, which is that stupid last name again. So I go Eli at V and it spits it out. So I'm just saving myself, you know, 15 characters, but you do that a thousand times a day and it really starts to add up. Okay. Um, and you can start doing obviously longer pieces of text. So maybe I just want to do my home address. Kaboom. I just H address and it spits it out. Um, or maybe I'm in Meetup and I'm trying to send like a big recruitment message to all everyone on that list. And so then I'm going to go like, oh, let's send out my prospecting email. That didn't work. Let's try that again. Oh, uh, oh I've changed the texting again. Um, well, that doesn't help because I just changed this today and I don't actually remember what it is. Um, <laughs> hey. Hello, Hi. welcome, Hi. welcome. Hi. Great. Hi. I'm Dylan. Hi there, Sophie. Dylan. Sophie, it's a pleasure. Hi, Dylan. Hi, Eli. Eli, it's a pleasure. Hi there. I'm Larry. Larry, it's a pleasure. How are you doing? You met Tamara already? Yes. Yeah, we go way back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Minutes. Minutes? Yeah. <laughs> How is everyone this evening? Good. Good. Just sitting down, Eli was demonstrating yeah. text expander for us, which yeah. is a tool he okay. uses. So basically the theme here is we're just going to do a bit of like tools that community managers would use in their day to day just to mm -hmm. be like little productivity tips. So mm -hmm. some will be specific to community, but a lot of it's just more generally like here's things that will make my life easier. Um, and so so here's like my big texts. And so I want to send something to like everyone on Meetup. And so it spits out this big thing. You'll see a it's already been formatted in HTML because actually I'm going to just shove it into the HTML so I can format everything in this. And then you see it actually drops in a little text box where it just says with a little prompt saying, oh, put in the group city oh, there. Fancy. So it's like, oh, yeah. Or you could also have a drop down there if you've got like six different things. So it just can drop your mouse in somewhere to sort of give you some context clues to, again, make things really easy. And that's kind of text expander. You can go ridiculously complicated on it, but one of the fun things are is, there are some things I like to do all the time, but are kind of annoying, like emoji. So I use like this one all the time, like, oh, there's my wave emoji. Or I'm like, oh, actually I want to do like the boom emoji. So let me do that and kapow. So I can just like spit out emoji as well. So you can put basically any kind of text in there and have at it. Um, and of course you can also use it as a text correction tool, like you would often find in something like Microsoft Word, where if you're like, oh, I always type the the wrong way, and you can sort of put in auto completions. Very similar within this tool, but of course, you can make it happen across any of your applications. It also syncs into your phone via a phone app, um, but you'll of course have to swap into their own keyboard to make that happen. But it's all pretty helpful. Um, it's a piece of subscription software. I spend forty dollars a year, and honestly, I'm thrilled to do so. But of course, there are cheaper and freer versions that do very similar kind of work. 